हेलो गाइस दिस इज अदिप वेलकम टू माय चैनल मूवमेंट साइंस वेयर आई सिंपलीफाई बायो मैकेनिक्स विद जो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट एमसीपी जॉइंट एंड आल्सो द आईपी जॉइंट सो फर्स्ट मेटाकार्पल जॉइंट आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इन मोर डेप्थ बट आईपी जॉइंट आई विल बी जस्ट मेंशनिंग बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड आईपी जॉइंट इन द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ माय हैंड कॉम्प्लेक्स बायो मैकेनिक्स एंड द आईपी जॉइंट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द अदर आईपी जॉइंट while mc joint mcp joint is not very similar the range of motion and everything the function differs right so that's why i am going to focus more on the mcp joint so without any further ado let's get started so starting with your mcp joint it's a condyloid shaped joint and the articulation happens between the head of the first metacarpal and the base of the proximal phalanx and the range of motion if you see it is way different compared to your other mcp joint the flexion extension is the highest abduction adduction is lower and there is hardly any rotation and the main function of this range of motion that is present is it adds to the opposition and flexion range of motion of your thumb so i said flexion extension is the main movement right and you can see the cmc joint the carpo metacarpal joint right is over here so what it does it helps in opposition correct so cmc joint when it does opposition your mcp joint will add to that opposition by increasing the range of motion through flexion that's why you can, as you can see the cmc joints range of motion is kind of enhanced by your mcp joint and the other part as i said the range of motion at other mcps is more you can see they have hyper extension right the other mcp joints but over here is hardly present correct so that's another point that we need to know about the first metacarpophalangeal joint so now that we have covered this part over here let's move on to the stability the stability to this joint is provided by the capsule as you can see around it is covered by the capsule there is volar plate if you want to know what is volar plate you can again go check out my uh, videos on volar plate in the hand complex of biomechanics where i have spoken about it in detail and also the collateral ligaments uh, which are present at the side the medial and lateral collateral ligament and apart from that there is another structure which provides the stability to mcp joint that is the intersesamoidal ligament so you can see these two bones right over here circular bones these are the sesamoid bones as i mentioned here and the ligaments going cross between them are the intersesamoidal ligaments which help in providing stability to your metacarpophalangeal joint so the stability is provided by all these structures now these bones that are present are formed after the age of 12 basically with weight bearing when you are born there are these bones are not there but as you start weight bearing because of the pressure these bones start to form and that's the theory behind it and apart from uh, the first metacarpal also second around 50% of your second mcp joint and 70% of the of your fifth mcp joints uh, as in the metacarpals they also have these sesamoid bones so it's not just restricted to your first mcp joint right. so that's all we have about the metacarpophalangeal joint next going on to ip joint that is the interphalangeal joint about this the articulation happens as i can show you on the bone yeah so the articulation happens between the head of the proximal phalanx and the base of the distal phalanx and if you can see it's very similar the structure is very similar to all the other ip joint that's why we are not discussing about it in depth but the flexion extension is the main function and that's all we have for the ip joint now let's quickly summarize the topic and finish off the video so we spoke about the mcp joint which is condyloid shape and the range of motion and function is completely different to it, to other mcp joints said right? the function it helps in opposition movement correct of the cmc joint initiated by the cmc joint and the stability is provided by joint capsule volar plate and collateral ligament which is quite normal to other mcp joints quite similar to other mcp joints but intersesamoidal ligament providing the stability is something new right so with that we finish off this topic in next video we are going to talk about the musculature that is the muscles present around the thumb that will come under the kinetics right so stay tuned for that that's all for today guys thank you for watching